We are going to be doing an EBD setup on a patient um, at bedside. We are going to be using the Codman drain. And then we'll also be needing an ARP kit. So we'll be taking this out of the box, and this is what our setup is going to look like. We'll need a freestanding pole. And you want to make sure that this is secured to the pole and up on top as well. You'll also need two flushes. Once I open up my art kit, I am actually looking for this piece right here, just the transducer part. And the rest of it can go in the garbage. We're going to attach our syringe and make sure there's no air bubble to the top. Adhere it on. We're also going to be taking the, the caps from the art line kit, the yellow one, or a blue cap to put on the end here. I'll just use the blue one for this video. Let's see here. We want to make sure that our line is flush and patent. So we want to open up our stop cocks because we're going to flush to the chamber first. And then we'll go the opposite way, and it should come out here. You don't want to push all the way down because you don't want this air bubble to come through the transducer, so we will switch out our syringe. We're going to shut it off. Always flush on this side as well. Just a little bit. Perfect. Once the neurosurgeon is ready, we are going to hook these, but you also want to make sure there's no um, saline in this chamber because this is where our cerebral spinal fluid is going to be drained through. So we'll make sure it's off, which it is. Open this drain up. Let this saline come down, shut it off, and then we will connect to our head once the surgeon is ready. Our poor little head. We also want to make sure all our stop cocks are open as well. We'll be hooking up for, to our monitor to get intracranial pressures. And we also want to zero our drain, so we're going to turn on our monitor. We're going to go ahead where the PA says, push down our button. Pressure labels. Sorry. And we're looking for ICP which is already on in cranial pressure, but you would just come down this list and click on it. So once that's there, we are actually going to zero out this drain. You have millimeters of mercury and centimeters of water, and the neurosurgeon is going to pick where they want that level to be, but for zeroing purposes, we have to come down to zero. Have this stop cock down and this one up. This will be our ICP. I don't believe it's ringing since it's actually not hooked up to a patient at this time. Come down to zero just like you would an art line, and it's zeroed out. Then we'll come back to our drain and open it up because we cannot transduce and drain at the same time. So for this segment, we are concentrating on leveling our EVD. Our patient already has a drain set up. Anytime we manipulate our patient up in the bed, um, we have to actually re-level it. Anytime we do travel with the patient or lay the patient flat, we do need to temporarily clamp the drain. So we want to make sure that our transducer and our stopcock 
is a level with the patient's EAC or tragus, and we actually have a level for that. We want to make sure that this bubble is what we focus on, and this is actually the correct positioning right here.